طيب بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله كان وي سي ناريتد عبد الله ابن عمر رضي الله عنه everybody Narrated Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu What is the meaning of radiyallahu anhu? May Allah be pleased with What is he narrating? What is he reporting to us? What does that mean? That the messenger may peace be upon him. The messenger of Allah. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Say, what did he say? Say, say, man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Repeat that again. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Repeat it again. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Read it again. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. What is the meaning in American English? He who or she who imitates any people. If you imitate people, if you are doing what they do, you behave like they behave, you act like they act, you walk like they walk, you laugh like they laugh, you talk like they talk. Do you understand this? If you imitate any people, then how are you graded? How are you graded and where are you graded? Fahua, min, hum. Can you read that? Fahua, min, hum. Fahua, min, hum. Fahua, min, hum. Fahua, min, hum. What is the meaning of Fahua, min, hum? It's one of them. You are one of those people. You behave like Kufar. You are one of them. Got it. Do you behave like Munafiks? You have not any title or name except that you have to be called hypocrite. You understand that? If you take off, off all your clothes, how are you called? Nude, naked, right? There is no any other good name that you're going to be given. But if you behave well, definitely you belong to that well-behaved people. Choice is yours as a Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayi'ah. That good and righteousness is not equal to are you even listening? That good and bad are not equal. Good and bad are not equal. Acts of obedience and acts of disobedience are not equal. Righteousness and evilness are not equal. Did you understand that or not? The way of shaitan, shirat al a good way, way of light, way of rahmah and mercy and forgiveness you know is not the same is not equal to the way of shaitan which way do you want to fall you are a muslim and a muslim eh? allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you Kul inna huda huwa huda. tell them oh muhammad that the, the, the right guidance of allah is the only guidance that they should follow but if you follow or imitate their desires, they are those who are deviated, those who are lost, and who? The evil ones. If you leave the guidance of Allah of Al Islam and you follow the guidance of Shaitan, even if it's followed by the whole world. You have you will have no protector. Besides Allah, nor helper. For Allah to help you. Okay? For Allah to protect you. For Allah to guide you, you have to stick and adhere to the guidance of Allah. This hadith is warning Muslims who live Islam, who don't follow Islam, who don't follow Quran and Sunnah, and follow the rest of the world simply because many people are doing that. Or many people are enjoying that. I want to be like people. No. You have to remain to be a Muslim. I want to be like a Muslim or a Muslim. Are we good until then? Yes. This guy. You're not even seen. Can you, can you, I want you to look at this. Did you understand that hadith or not? Did you?
Do you understand the hadith? Yes. You remain to be a Muslim. And you remain to be a Muslim who follow the guidance of Allah, which is Al Quran. And you follow some of the Prophet, وسلم, right? Through this hadith that you are guided. But if you abandon Quran and you abandon Sunnah of the Prophet and you start imitating people who follow Shaitan, and this should not be confused. We Muslims, we are allowed to live with anybody, but we don't compromise our Islam. You understand? We are allowed to live with anybody, but we don't compromise our Islam. Of course, living in an Islamic community is the priority. You understand that? But we are in America, Islam allows us, you know, you, you, are, you are not going to say that I'm not going to live with this neighbor, I'm not going to live with this neighbor. No, Islam provides even rights of neighbors. This is what I mean. Did you understand that? Lakin remain to be a Muslim and a Muslim. In beliefs, in aqidah, at tawheed, don't be a mushrik or a mushrik. You understand that? We believe in Allah. We are not atheists. We are not polytheists. We are not Christians. We are not following Judaism. We are not following any other religion. We are Muslims and we follow and our lifestyle is the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we read the hadith again? Say narrated Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu. That the messenger of Allah may peace be upon him say. That the messenger of Allah may peace be upon him say. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. He who imitates any people. He who imitates any people. He who imitates a people. He who imitates a people. Is one of them. So you wanna be resurrected? In what state do you wanna die? As a Muslim? Or an atheist and polytheist? Muslim. How do you want to live your life? A Muslim or? Muslim. You want to follow the way of Allah or way of Shaitan? In the grave, how do you want to live? Because that may be the longest life than this, 20, 30, 50 years. You want to die as a Muslim and be buried as a Muslim or? Your choice. It depends on the choices that you are making now. Am I going to follow Islam because Allah guided me to an Islam or not? Am I going to follow Quran and Sunnah or not? In everything, in your beliefs, in your thoughts, your intentions, your words, your appearance, your actions, you understand? Your surrounding, how you're going to live, how you're going to travel, how you're going to sleep, how you're going to dress, how you're going to walk. Are you going to follow the guidance of Allah or are you going to leave the guidance of Allah and imitate the way of Shaitan. Hadith is so clear, right? Yes. It is a choice that you make. Can you yourself read this hadith? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Everybody read, yes? Al-Hadith yes. by Allah ibn Allah Some of you are not even reading. 
I'm seeing you. You are doing this not once now. I don't want people to overstay in the bathroom. Do your business and leave. It's a place of shepherd, man. When did you go outside? Just now? No. You are missing class. You have started this game of going and overstay. <coughs> this is not right. Time is very important. What we are learning is very important. So you don't know what, what, what you have missed, right? What did we do since you left? Go to the bathroom and come back. What is so beautiful in this building to be looked at and seen at? Let us go. Bismillah. Allah Hadi. Can you take your books and write what do we learn from the hadith? Number one. What do we learn from the hadith? What do we learn from the hadith? Write it down. Number one. Muslims are supposed to be distinguishable, distinguishable <coughs> non-Muslims. We live together, but when it comes to faith, we have our faith and they have their faith, right? We have our deen and they have their deen. We live together and we have to be kind to our neighbors, non-Muslim neighbors. But we have to be distinguishable. We have to be different. When it comes to following our Islam, Christians have their way and we also have our way, right? The point number one was Muslims are supposed to be distinguishable from non-Muslims. Distinguishable means different. We don't compromise. We go to school together. We go to hospitals, right? But when it comes to our faith, matters of our faith, Islam, we are Muslims. Distinguishable. Distinguishable. Who doesn't know distinguishable? They stay. 
distinguish, distinguishable, distinguishable. Number two, it is prohibited for a Muslim <coughs> to imitate bad acts of disbelievers. It is prohibited. Point number two, it is prohibited. It is haram for a Muslim to imitate the evil acts of disbelievers. Tell them to sit there. They are late. I cannot stop my lesson. Tell them to sit out there. They can sit here and wait. <coughs> the teacher needs, or not the teachers. Let them stay there. They come now and ask for the key. Number three. It is prohibited. Number two, it is prohibited. You are not writing. It is prohibited for a Muslim to imitate the evil acts of disbelievers. And also even the evil act of a Muslim. A Muslim who acts evil, you cannot follow his work. Evil in general. Of disbelievers or Muslims. A Muslim who is disobeying Allah, doing haram, you cannot imitate him. Samia, you are not writing. You are not writing since you came in here. You are not. It is prohibited for a Muslim to imitate the evil acts of disbelievers or even evil acts of a Muslim. If a Muslim is acting evil, you don't. Even evil acts of a friend, you don't imitate those evil acts. Because Allah is against evilness, right? Number three, imitation of kufar is a serious, is, no, imitation of kufar is serious and causes the Muslim to lose his Islamic personality. Imitation of the kufar is serious. For example, can you worship idol? Can you worship shaitan? Can you worship people? Can you worship Muhammad? No. Can you worship Isa Jesus? No. <coughs> you, can, you are not going to imitate them. Can you worship Musa alayhi salam? No. <coughs> we respect leadership, okay? But you don't worship even your parents. You don't worship president. We don't worship them. We only worship. So imitation of the kuffar is serious and causes the Muslim to lose his Islamic personality. You either keep your personality and identity, or you lose it by imitating and follow, following somebody who is committing haram, doing haram. Number four, Islam is the highest. Number four, Islam is the highest of all religions and ideologies. Islam is the highest, yes. People are not even listening to me. You are talking and I'm talking. Number three, imitation of the Kufa. is serious and causes the Muslim to lose his Islamic personality. You are talking there that you are not writing. You are right? Can you come? Perform two rakah before you sit down. Number four, Islam is the highest of all religions and ideologies. Islam is the highest. You talk to Christians, they will tell you it's the highest. You talk to Judaism, is that we tell them Islam is the highest. It's number four, Islam is the highest of all religions and ideologies. Number five, a Muslim should be acknowledged a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his appearance number five a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her appearance a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her appearance as well as 
his behavior and his inner character. Can I repeat that? Yes. Uni sister, are you writing? You are not. You never wrote all those points. Zero. The book is under you. In, I mean, number, number five, a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her appearance as well as his behavior and his inner character. Can I repeat point number one? Number one, we say lessons to be learned from the hadith. Number one, Muslims are supposed to be distinguished from the non-Muslims. Especially when it comes to religion, we don't compromise our religion. A Christian is a Christian, Jewish are Jewish, whoever, whoever, but we are Muslims, alhamdulillah, amanna billah, wastaqamna. We believe in Allah and His Messenger, Muhammad sallallahu as His last messenger. We are Muslims, Islam is our religion, we don't compromise that. So we are different when it comes to faith, right? Even though Islam allows us not to harm people, not to hurt people, right? Hosnul Jiwa. Good what? Good what? Good relationships with our neighbors has to be promoted, right? When they are sick, visit them. Make dua of Hidayah for them, right? And make dua of, you know, of, of Shifa for them. When they are hungry, feed them. Invite them to Islam, right? Clothe them when they, are, when, when they don't have clothes. Number two, it is prohibited for a Muslim to imitate the Kufa. And that does not mean that we should not take good from non-Muslims. No, we take good from non-Muslims. You go to universities here, right? Most of teachers are not even Muslims, right? Yeah, so we take good from people. <coughs> we go to the same Walmart and we go to all these markets. Only that we buy halal. Wherever we are, we have to lead halal life. Number three, imitation of the kufar, imitation of the kufar is serious and causes the Muslim to lose his Islamic personality. Live, go to school, socialize, because we live in America, but don't lose your Islam. Don't lose your Islamic identity and personality. That is the message here. Don't imitate what is not Islamic, especially bad behaviors from a Muslim or from a non-Muslim. Number four, Islam is the highest of all religions and ideologies. Islam is the highest, number four. Islam is the highest of all religions and ideologies. I just said it. No. Number three, imitation of the kufar is serious and causes the Muslim to lose his Islamic personality. You are not allowed to imitate a Muslim who is acting evil or a non-Muslim who is acting evil. You cannot. A man is a man in Islam and a woman is? A woman. Period. A man marries a woman and a woman marries a man. Period. In Islam, a man does not marry a man and a woman does not marry. Stick to that. Let other people do whatever they want to do. If they ask us, we will tell them that that is our Islam. Don't say, oh, I'm a Muslim, but I want to be this. No. You have to be what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to be, right? Number last, number five, a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her appearance as well as his behavior and his inner character. Number five, a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her appearance. Wherever you are, you should be known. That is one of the wisdom of putting on hijab, right? That you will be recognized as women of respect. And you will not be annoyed. So a Muslim should be acknowledged and recognized by his or her peers, as well as his behavior and his inner character. Can we read this hadith before we, 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 we end there? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, all of us. Al-Hadith.
together, together. Al Hadid. There is freedom of religion, freedom of speech, right? So alhamdulillah, we are practicing our religion because Allah wants us to practice our religion first. And no one in America stops you from practicing your Islam. Yes or no? And no one is forcing you to leave Islam to another faith, not in America. Is there anyone who, who says, who put a gun on you that leave Islam? Anybody who does that? No? No? Anybody? No. These guys, you are doing so bad. All of you. You are outside there. You don't. You don't join the class. You don't join the class. You are not. You are not. You are coming, standing outside, playing with phone, chatting. Some of you. You are coming this late to learn, really. Walikum salam. One girl read the hadith. One boy. We will be going to class earlier today. Bismillah. Ali Marie, you never read for so long. Yeah, Ali Marie. That group is very bad. That group, some of you. May Allah be pleased with him that the messenger may peace be upon him said, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin, he who imitates any people, fahuwa min hum, is one of them. The boy, who is going to read for you? Bismillah. Hadith, narrated by Abdullahi ibn Umar radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him that said that the messenger may peace be upon him, said, Man, 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 he was not even with me from the beginning when I'm reading. He was never with me, even after writing it in English, it is still man tatabba. Where is tata? Where is tata? Where is that ta? Read. Can you use your yelling voice? You love yelling. Use that. Al Hadith narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu. God, may Allah be pleased with him, said, God of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the messenger may peace be upon him, said, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin. Is it man tashabbaha wa man tata? Man tashabbaha. Tashabbaha. Where is your two ears? Uh-huh. He who imitates any people, fahuwa minhum, is one of them. 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 Fahuwa